So MTIF came about really from a recognition that there's one thing that's missing in the medical technologies industry, and that's the capability to go from bench to bedside. And by that, I mean taking some of the very early research and being able to translate that into products that benefit patients. And what we do in MTIF is build on the core capabilities that a university has and then work with strategic partners such as the local NHS trusts, local organisations that support industry to really enable what could be a virtual company to go from very basic research all the way through clinical trials, registration to get their product onto the market. What MTIF will do for the first time is give us that pathway and the link to commercial opportunity and the medical industry to actually take these, to make these projects tan tangible and real and take them forward. The Midlands, surprisingly, is the second largest medtech region within the country. We've got 931 companies that work across the Midlands in the uh, medtech area. And we're very excited about what we can do to help them develop products that will improve patients' lives, but also it will stimulate economic growth within the region, enabling them to develop products quicker, generate uh, income and create jobs which ultimately pays the taxes that funds the NHS and the universities. The robots you can see behind me are based on a co-robotic platform, uh, two robots clearly. So one of the robots we call a datum robot and one a tooling robot which actually does a, uh, an operation like drilling for example. Uh, the whole, the whole uh, system is in conjunction uh, with a spinal surgeon as well. It's been developed over, as I say, over two years. And the idea is, is to uh, try and reduce any inaccuracies in, in terms of spinal correction procedures. So, for example, the two sort of fairly classic procedures are scoliosis and kyphosis. So, scoliosis being the curvature of the spine. And the idea is that the robots come in based on the patient's scan data one of the robots attaches to part of the spine. The other robot then is guided in and drills initially into individual vertebra. And then there's a tool change on that robot. And then we put a pedicle screw into that vertebra. The surgeon would then reposition the datum robot, the, the second robot, onto the, onto the next vertebra. And then repeat that procedure all the way up the spine until it's into a position that he needs or she needs to access to. Once that's been completed, the, the surgeon would then physically straighten the spine and then add a bar or bars to keep the, keep the spine in, in place. The MTIF facility is truly unique nationally and globally. I don't think there's anything that so intimately links industry, academia, NHS to take products all the way from bench to bedside. So just very early ideas all the way through to being products in the market. Companies don't have to engage with us for the whole journey. They can just take the bits that they need and we're very happy to act as a sort of hub and spoke model. So people come to MTIF and we can support them directly or signpost them to capabilities within our partners, all of which is designed to enable them to get a product to the market more efficiently and more effectively than they ever could have done on their own. We're working with industry on a large number of projects, um, primarily the projects are um, sort of initiated by talking to surgeons and clinicians. We're very fortunate that we have quite a wide net network of clinical professionals that we work with. So that at the moment varies everything from controlling patient sedation um, to surgical robotics um, to capturing stem cells. There's a real, real wide variety of projects. Every project that we're working on will make a real difference to patients. So the capabilities that, that you've seen just in our robotics area show the real impact that the research work we're doing will have for patients in the future. And we've got other capabilities that do that as well. So we're looking at supporting stem cell and gene therapy programs. We're looking at biomaterials, looking at how we can use uh, implants into patients' bodies to modify physiological response to improve outcomes for patients. And we're also looking at some very exciting areas like smart textiles, so printing uh, ECG monitors onto clothing so that we can detect atrial fibrillation in patients. But more than that, we can monitor their whole physiological response, temperature, acceleration, deceleration, so we can have really important healthcare applications that we can integrate into a system to improve outcomes for patients and hopefully also drive down the cost of care for the NHS.